Hi friend, in this tutorial you are going to discuss how to create graphical user interface. Okay, graphical user interface using NetBean ID. To create graphical user, user interface at first you need to click on file, then click on new projects. Okay, then there is a two option, one is category and second one is the project. Okay, from the category option you need to select Java and uh, from the right side to you in project uh, you have to select uh, java application now next is that that you have to click on next button now you have to ask uh, you have to ask to specify the project name for our this project uh, we are specifying project name as a training and there is a no need to create here main class deselect the uh, creating the main class option checkbox and now you click on the finish in that you can uh, create a project id project uh, uh, that is trading to and this project uh, folder is going to contain all the necessary library and package which is required to run this application okay now next is that we have to create uh, a form ok to create a form we are going to use jframe ok to create a new frame we have to click on the newly created project right click on the newly created project we need to click here right click ok we need to click here right click New, uh, newly created project and you have to click on new option and from the new option you find there is a jframe form option is there you need to click this one you have to ask that spe specify the class name ok class name is uh, my project um, my graphical user interface ok and there is a warning it is highly recommended that you do not place the java class in default package we are not going to place this java class in default default package we are going to place this java class in a one of package that package name is my channel name that is complete youtube okay now next is that you need to click on finish button In that way we have created our graphical user interface uh, one frame that is uh, with uh, no component in that uh, frame now need to create some company we need to bring some component from the right side of the window you are you are checking you are uh, you are on the right side of the netbin id you find that there is a swing comp container and swing control is there uh, to bring that control in newly created frame we have to select the controls so for example we are going to create uh, uh, some um, calculation okay to we are going to calculate uh, we, are, we are going to uh, calculate some values so, okay for that uh, we are creating we are um, selecting some label bringing some label in frame two level is this one is two level and one two 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 one text box is required okay one text box text box text field is there and one combo box okay it depend depend on you how to, what type of interface you want okay now next is that we need to click on buttons click on buttons and bring that button in frame again click on second button and this one is going to be one is the save uh, reset button okay and one is the calculate button and second one is the reset button okay now next is that we need to edit this labels and text field okay and a uh, uh, combo box and button all these things to edit uh, all the labels and all the text field all the element all the form of 
swing control which is defined in the frame it is uh, when you select a, a control okay, when you select a control you find there is a in the right side of the lower right side of the net bin id you find there is a property window okay property window you can change that uh, level title from property window mm -hmm. and there is also a shortcut uh, quick option is there when you click right click on the label you find that uh, there is edit text okay click on for example here quantity price this one is price price and this one is quantity okay and edit this text remove this one and make it large and edit we need to add some in some numbers in combo box for to control uh, to add some number or values you need to click on the uh, property window you find there is a model option is there and in there defined is, is the item one item two item three and there you find there is a one button you clean to click on that button and you get this window the combo box window okay now next is that we need to specify our values okay for for, for this training purpose we are placing some uh, values here okay it may be anything okay now is next is that we need to click on ok button and we need to uh, in the same time we need to edit the two buttons so we need to rename this button you find that when you select the control by a button um, we find there is a option that is text text and then we need to edit this text and that text is going to be the calculate okay calculate calculate option is there and um, okay in that way you can also rename this uh, buttons and the say uh, another way you can rename by right clicking on the selected control calculate and this one is going to be reset okay next fine is that next is that we need to uh, implement some coding here to implement some coding you need to click on edit text no, no edit text not you need to click uh, if you want to implement some coding for a specific button you need to select that uh, button and you need to click uh, right click on the button and you find there is a event option is there and uh, when you click action you get uh, uh, action performs method action listener is now it is going to uh, display you a uh, source tab okay there is a two tab mainly that is design tab and second one is the source tab and now we need to specify the specific code for this uh, reset buttons okay uh, for example we have created text box and this text box object name is the jtext field one we now need to reset the value when someone click reset button okay for that we need to click on jtx field one dot set text that way okay this is the simple coding in that way we have reset and the uh, text box whatever we type within the uh, text box and when when you click on the reset button it is going to reset the, all the value which is placed under price text box okay text field now next is that we need to run this program to check how it is working now click on this option 
ओके रन प्रोजेक्ट ओके If you type some value here and we click reset button, if your code is written correctly, it is going to clear all the values. Okay, yeah, it is working very fine. Now next time, next is that we need to write some logic for to calculate the value of uh, to um, to calculate um, total price. Okay, for the specific quantity. Okay, close this window. Now next is that we need to calculate for. We need to write code for calculate button. Again the same way we need to select the calculate button and we need to click on event and need to click on action and action perform. Okay. Now it is going to again display. We again going to write. So we again going to display our as a source tab. In the source tab, we need to write some specific coding for this calculate button. Okay. We have in the our form we have used two uh, text field as a input. Uh, two 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 control for as a input. For one is text field one, and second one is the J combo box one. J combo box one contain predefined values which is defined by the user which is defined by the programmer your user and text text field is going to be that value different value okay we need to use this text field one and j combo box okay now next is that string Need to write coding here. String x, okay, equal to j text field one. J text field one. We need to get the value from the text field one. Dot get text. text need to click on uh, so. okay we need to we have retrieving the value from the text box next is that we need to uh, convert this string into this integer because we need to calculate okay and for that we need to type cast this uh, uh, x which is defined as a string okay int uh, int 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 a okay to to convert a string into integer we have to use integer dot parse int integer dot parse okay sorry dot parse int okay need to specify x okay it is there now next is that we need to uh, take the value we need to get the value from the combo box and for that we are creating a string y and uh, j combo box we need to use the j combo box object j combo box one which is the object of the j combo box class next is the and we have to use get text okay get text and get text and semicolon okay uh, okay um, because uh, uh, in combo box every whatever uh, um, 
value is present within the combo box that is value is placed as a object to con to for that we need to uh, to access the value from the combo box we need to use uh, we need to convert that object into a string for that reason we have to type first that is string get text get selected item okay we need to write here get selected item dot get selected item fine now it is time to calculate x we need to convert again we need to convert that y into the integer for that again we are using here int b and b equal to integer dot parse int integer dot parse int and that is going to be y ok fine it is coming it is there now next is that we need to calculate the result for that we are writing here int r equal to x comma x multiply y semicolon x a into b na a into b because a and b is the integer and is going to place in the int i r a variable which is defined as a integer that is r now it is time to print that value system dot out dot print ln it is going to display our result in a console but uh, for this training this uh, for this uh, uh, session it is going to be uh, like that one only in the next video tutorial you are going to learn how to display the result in a form itself okay the form itself print ln what it is there it is a print ln ln okay r now it is time to run our program save this file control s and save this after saving this file now it is time to run our application okay fine it is there now next is that we need to specify the price 4.5 okay and two quantity we are we are going to purchase four quantity okay now it is time to calculate then to see that how is the result is correct coming correct or not for that we need to click on calculate oh it is there error there 4.1 lang number format exception for input string 4.5 4.5 oh it is the mm, double it is the fractional value okay for that reason it is coming there like that one for that we are um, just uh, resetting the value and uh, we are going to place here for this uh, only this uh, tutorial you are going to place some numeric with specific value not fractional value and it is going to put here we are going to select here two quantity now it is it is going must uh, if the program is correct is it is going to display us uh, result as a 10 okay calculate check it is there yeah it is there okay fine thank you for this uh, your time i think in next video tutorial we are going to cover more more things keep watching and keep subscribing come to youtube